Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be using Kali Linux under cover mode in the latest release of Kali Linux 2020.1. We're also going to be addressing the fact that there isn't a default root user anymore. Instead, with this new Kali release, you will be making a default user, which you'll have to log in with through the login screen, instead of what you had to do before, log in as root. Go ahead and make sure to take a moment and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. What I have in front of me here is a fresh install of Kali Linux 2020.1. And the first thing we're gonna do is check out that Kali undercover mode and see if anything's really changed and if it's the same process. So what I'm gonna do is start up the terminal and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this uh, view a little bigger for us so we can see it better. So let me just zoom in here. All right, that should be good enough. So launching the Kali undercover mode is actually as simple as doing Kali dash undercover and then pressing enter. And all of a sudden your desktop switches up and now it looks like you actually have a command prompt and you're, and you're in the C directory under home savvy Nick. So even the terminal changes so it kind of emulates a command prompt window instead. So if I go ahead and minimize this you can see on the bottom here you have applications that you're used to seeing inside of Windows, such as your notepad and a web browser like Edge, the terminal, which is the command prompt, as well as a home folder or access to the file manager. It even has the ability to switch desktops, so workspaces in Linux, and search and launch your start menu. Of course, the start menu looks a little different in here, so this is a little bit of a giveaway. Uh, that it's a different operating system, but it's pretty uncanny how well it blends in with Windows 10, and I think uh, Kali Linux has done quite a good uh, job of emulating Windows 10 here. Overall, I think it's good enough to go ahead and fool someone into thinking that you're using Windows 10 when you're actually using Kali. So let's go ahead and real quick compare what the Kali undercover mode looks like with the 2020 version versus the 2019 version. I don't think there's going to be many changes here, but Kali Linux does claim that they've had an overwhelming response to the new tool to hide your desktop. And because of this, they uh, said they made improvements to the undercover mode with the latest 2020.1 release. And I just want to see if there's any kind of GUI changes here. So let me go ahead and launch my 2019 Kali version. And now I have my Kali Linux uh, 2019 version here. This is the .4 release. I'm gonna go ahead and launch terminal again, and you can see here we're default by default, logged in as uh, the root user instead. Uh, let me make this bigger as well. Zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in the Kali undercover. So it doesn't look like too much changed here. Really the only differences I see are that now you have uh, the web browser edge in the bottom, and you also have the notepad as well as the ability to change through workspaces, and you have a magnifying glass to signify a search. So just a few different things on the uh, right hand side. It really pretty much looks the same. Maybe the icons changed a little bit, so they look a little better. So let me just uh, show you the uh, other side of things. And now we're back in the 2020.1 release of uh, the Kali undercover mode. And you can see the differences here in the bottom right. Like I said, the icons might be a little bit different. They're a little bit more refined. I like that. They've uh, focused on trying to make this look as much as they can as uh, Windows 10. And then in the bottom left-hand side, you do have this new application finder, as they call it, and to change workspaces, as well as uh, the web browser, which looks like Edge, and then the notepad, which is a text editor that you can launch. All right, so let's get out of the uh, undercover mode. And we'll just type in Kali undercover here, and that will log us back into our default Kali Linux desktop here. So let's go ahead and move on and check out how the pseudoers work now. So we'll check out the super users on this system. Since you uh, now log in as a default user without super privileges. So let's go ahead and launch the terminal again. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger for us. And then let's first start by checking out the uh, pseudoers file. So I think if I do vim under etsy pseudoers here, it says permission denied. 
course. So uh, what we're going to do instead is just type in sudo etsy, sudoers. So you can see now that uh, the default user doesn't have super privileges, so they couldn't view the sudoers file. But if we do the sudo in front, we'll see if this user actually has the super privileges. So now it's asking me for a password, so I'm going to put my user password in, and I am allowed to uh, view the sudoers file as it says it's only uh, read only. And right here I look and I can see that there is still a root user and that they have all privileges available to them. So that means we can actually log in as the root user still, we just have to do it a different way. It's not automatically logged in for us. So I'm going to get out of this file. And then if I just type in sudo su, you can see that it did in fact log me in as the root user. And now I have a root privileges. So let's see, I could probably go to the root folder now, as you can tell. And if I exit out, or better yet, let me just log out of the root user. My bad, I meant to exit out. And let's see if I can access that same root directory. No, I can't. So you can see the difference in how you have to uh, log in as a root user now. This does make the system overall safer, and I do appreciate that Kali Linux uh, did go ahead and do this and make the default user uh, non-root. Now, if you really want to go back to the original way that Kali worked with only a root user, um, which is really not suggested, but uh, they do have a specified method to, to revert to the uh, old way by installing a package, and that can be done by doing apt update to ampersands and apt install dash y, and then we'll do Kali grant root. So if you go ahead and enter this command in, that should apply the old method of root login by default. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below for more information on this package by Kali. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try running this real quick and see what happens. Of course, I got permission denied because I'm not a super user. So I'm gonna put sudo in front of that. And let's see if this uh, works real quick. And interestingly enough, it says that I couldn't uh, lock a file. So let me just try doing it this way. Copying this command and pasting it. Take out the sudo in front because I am a root user now. Let's see if this way works. And it looks like it did. I'm not sure why uh, the last one didn't work properly, but uh, this seemed to have worked. Regardless, now we should be reverted back to how it worked in the 2019.4 version. I hope you enjoyed this overview of updates of Kali Linux. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.